All right, welcome back and we're still having a conversation. This time around, it's suicide is not an option. Over and over again, we have hammered on the you know, importance of not having to take your life regardless of what you may be facing psychologically. And quite recently, there was an extensive conversation after a medical student was said to have committed suicide for reasons that were not exactly confirmed. But we've had a number of um, you know, issues like this. And amongst the youth, it is a very serious issue. And that is why we're discussing it today as well. And so joining me, I have Cynthia Nimo Ampredu, Executive Director, Human Rights Advocacy Center. Thank you so much for joining me. And also Kinsley Ofosu, I'm a Basic Need and Mental Health Alliance of Ghana. He represents them also, Director for Rights and Rehabilitation Ghana. Good morning, sir, and you are welcome. Thank you. And I know that you have, you have a database of, you know, the number of suicides that have, you know, happened in the country over the years. And it's quite disturbing because it is especially amongst the youth. World Mental Health Day is coming. Tell me why we're focusing on suicide. Well, um, as you rightly said, there's quite um, some disturbing data on yeah. suicide um, globally and also nationally. If you look at the global statistics, um, it indicates that every 40 seconds, somebody dies as a result of suicide. Mm. And that's not just it, it's also about Apart from this data that we have, there are others that attempt suicide. Mm. And so the statistics is quite um, staggering. Um, if you come down to the low and middle income countries of which Ghana belongs, mm -hmm. um, you'd realize that 79% of the global statistics actually occur in these countries. Okay. And so um, for us as a nation, this is something that we should be focusing on uh, because it's not just an issue of human rights because you know you're talking about health and then right to life, yes. but also an issue of development. Mm. Um, I think in 2015 there about it was indicated that suicide cost us about seven percent of our national GDP. Yeah. So this is a serious issue that we need to take seriously. I mean, this is an issue that we need to take seriously. And for the youth particularly, mm -hmm. we know what they contribute to national development. Yeah. And so if you have um, suicide being the second leading cause of death among persons aged 15 to 29, you mm -hmm. know that this is an issue that must um, be prioritized um, in, in our mental health. Okay. And so this year, as, um, as we celebrate Mental Health Day, Which we are focusing- tomorrow, Yes, tomorrow. 10th, yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah. So we are focusing on suicide uh, prevention. Mm. Okay, yeah. so please kindly tell me, Mr. Kinsley, why you decided to partner, um, you know, and what it means to be focusing on suicide. Uh, as a matter of fact, let me first of all extend my condolence to all those or family members who have lost their relatives mm -hmm. through suicide cases. And as my sister Cynthia said, looking at the global statistics, mm -hmm. when we come to Ghana to, to by the Mental Health Authority, uh, led by Dr. Osei, Kwesi Osei, yeah. uh, he claimed that 150,000 people uh, perished through suicide, suicide. Mm -hmm. cases. And this is just a single report. There are four times mm. of that number attempts that, that are not reported. Okay. So even the world global statistics also shows that apart from the about one million people who commit suicide, there are about 20 million people mm -hmm. who attempt suicide. Yeah. So you can see the phenomenon. Yeah. Trickling down to Ghana, there's the need for us since human capital is necessary for any development uh, as a nation. So uh, I would like us to look at the situation mm -hmm. uh, in Ghana and also look at what triggers this okay. so that we can at least assess the situation in Ghana as well. Okay. First of all, if we look at the definition of uh, mental health, it says a state of well-being in which every individual realizes his or her own potential, mm -hmm. then having capability to cope with normal stress of life, mm -hmm. then can work productively and fruitfully and contribute to uh, nation development. So the impact, if not checked, will uh, affect nation development negatively mm. and there's a situation where uh, we need to 
understand and know what constitutes this uh, issue yeah. of suicide. It can be bio uh, biological mm -hmm. and also social factors. Yeah. Because uh, most of these cases have been related to mental health illnesses. Mm -hmm. So for that matter, if we are dealing with suicide cases, then we should also relate it to uh, mental health okay. issues. Okay. And what we need to do is to ensure that everybody knows his, at least the capacity he can take. Okay. Biologically. Okay. And socially. Mm. There are a lot of people who do things which are beyond them. Yeah. And this brings stress depression and so on and so forth creates a lot of ailment. Mm -hmm. I believe uh, going for it, we can look we at can other look at things. Other yes. things that, yeah. but of course, I mean, living beyond your means is one major problem mm. why people, um, you know, might get to that depression state. Yes. But like you said, a lot of people don't report those cases. Some of yes. them also attempt, but they don't um, succeed in doing it. You're asking for them to seek help. How are they going to seek help? Because first of all, there's victimization. There are lots of people who cannot come out because the moment they come out and say, I'm depressed, everybody says, oh, that's the mad person going there. Or, you know, there are various ways by which we denigrate people who may be facing depression almost towards suicide. How then do they seek help? And what are the ways by which you're going to promote this agenda in order to get people to speak out? So let me speak uh, briefly to mm. some of the challenges. And yeah. you've mentioned um, some of them already in terms of the stigma that is associated with um, yeah. suicide attempts or even somebody who has committed suicide and their family. And then the issue also about the laws that we have in place now. We have the Criminal Offences mm -hmm. Act mm -hmm. that criminalizes attempted suicide. Attempted, and yes. so if somebody has even gone into that situation, they are scared to report because they feel that the law might come um, after oh, them. Yeah. Um, quite apart from that, we realize that because we don't have data, we are not able to properly plan in terms of addressing um, suicide in mm -hmm. Ghana. And so it explains why we don't have a national strategy yeah. when other countries do yeah. have um, something of the sort in place that they are using to address. Um, and then there's something also that caught my attention lately. The support systems in place, it's either they are completely lacking okay. or what we have is not adequate. Mm. Recently, I saw a tweet um, that said Ghana Health Service is um, having um, a help center you know, for persons, for persons who are yes. contemplating mm -hmm. suicide. And two lines were provided. And then uh, a very short message says, um, so the lines are very busy, um, and so keep calling on. So, I mean, who, who in their senses, you know? I mean, somebody who is Continue. contemplating yeah. suicide would want to keep calling and calling and calling. So the, whatever we have in place is not enough. Mm. And we need to do more as a nation to be able to address this issue because we've already talked about the fact that it's not just an issue of human rights, yeah. it's also about um, development, mm. right? Um, now to your other question about the risk was yeah, it about well, risk? I was asking that, so if I'm going to be victimized for mm -hmm. it and you're telling me to seek help, yes. how then do I go about it and so, to ensure that I don't become a laughing stock? Exactly. So I think there is some advocacy going on in terms mm. of taking that provision out of the Criminal Offences Act. Mm. The Law Reform Commission has submitted a petition to the Attorney General's Department okay. and they say they are working on it. We hope they would work on mm. it. So that is one way to go. Um, but that is in the long term, yeah. right? Immediately, what we can do as a nation, and a lot of the time, you need to look out for um, signs. Mm. Um, people don't just get up and then commit suicide. Yeah. They, they drop a few hints here and there. Is it all of them so, who actually drop the hints? <laughs> well, people, sometimes people, it's they say, quite, hey, but I saw him yeah. yesterday and he exactly. was fine. So what happened? I they, think they we need rates. to yeah. pay attention mm. because there might be something there. Okay. We need to pay attention, especially those who are very close, so family and friends. If there's a difference, you might notice mm. it. So basically, we need to pay attention. We need to be more compassionate. Mm. I know in Ghana, a lot of us have a good sense of humor. We yeah. turn everything into fun. People trivialize issues. But we have to learn to look at beyond what is on the surface, okay. right? So for me, paying attention is important. And then um, if we are able to talk to people that we sense something might be going wrong. Again, I'll go back to Twitter. A couple of weeks ago, somebody dropped a message 
Um, I have a family, nobody wants to listen to me, not even friends, nobody's there for me. And, and then I checked the, the comments yeah. section and everybody who sent in a response was asking, are you okay, do you want to talk? I'm here, call me on this line. So that is how you are able to reach, one of the means through which you're able to reach out mm. to people. So as supportive um, of people who are closely uh, related or closely linked to mm -hmm. persons who are contemplating, we ourselves can serve as some kind of support. But of course, beyond that, there are other interventions that okay. come to the medical aspect of it because there are medical interventions as okay. well. Can you run me through that? Because I'd want to know, do you have any idea about those? Um, not, not so at the moment. Okay. we have, I think there are medications mm. that can help and then also some kind of therapy. I think yeah. the psychologist will be able to But of course, the psychologist will be the one to exactly. speak on it. So we can't So speak there on are it. medical uh, All right, cool. Um, I, I remember there was a friend that also posted on social media. It was midnight. I said this on air one time that he was going to commit suicide. And, you know, that's, the, that's going to be his last breath. Mm. So panic attack. I had to get in touch with him and all of that. And moving along, I realized, like you said, that there were lots of things that were preventing him from living an okay life because he was owing too many people. He mm -hmm. had issues the here process. and there. Now, he was looking for someone to speak to. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, there was nobody there. If we watch a lot of movies and you read a lot, you'd realize that there are some social groups that enable people who are going through some of these challenges to get to speak with other like-minded people. Yeah. Let's share our experiences. Let's see what we can do for each other. Do we have something like that in Ghana? And if we did, would it be a very effective way of also addressing this challenge? Uh, I don't think we have much in, in the sense that uh, the, the nation as a body do not have this policy and systems mm. uh, trickling down to our communities. What we were expecting as NGOs working mm -hmm. in this field is to ensure that state employs more social workers. Okay. Don't we Most, have enough of those already? No. We, How effective now have they Now they been? are called social protection mm. workers, where the people can have access to. Because a lot of young people have confined in their peers, which has uh, taken them to a negative situations. Yeah. And for that matter, there should be a professional and an, a formal body where people can quickly go. Okay. And these social workers also identify these people by family reporting to them mm. so that they can also see them as their clients and be visiting them. Okay. Now with the mental health law, there are a lot of uh, uh, psychiatric nurses being sent down mm -hmm. as, a, as a policy to decentralize uh, mental health from the higher level to the uh, yeah. assembly, district okay. assemblies. Okay. And these nurses are working so hard that they visit clients who have reported mental health cases at the hospital. Mm. There are no program for social workers to follow suit because mm -hmm. the cause is not only biological, yeah. medical, but also social. And for that matter, we are advocating that as the state is employing more police people, which is good, employing more people into for forestry, employing more into nursing and medical field, they should also consider social workers. Okay. There are a lot of models that have come out from this government trying to consider and create employment and also address social issues. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is good to send 3% uh, of the common fund to support people with disability and the vulnerable yeah. in society. But it's, all, it's all equally good to have professionals who will help them address some of the uh, mental problems or psycho uh, psychological, psychological problems, problems that, that associate with this uh, suicide okay. attempt. Okay. Yes. All right. So tomorrow is World um, Health Mental mm -hmm. Health Day. Mm -hmm. Pardon me. And so, what is that coalition working on, and what is it going to be like um, tomorrow, and you know the days afterwards? Okay, so um, there is a mental health alliance mm. and development that comprises a number of NGOs. I cannot remember all of no them. No problem. There's quite a number of them, and each one is having a number of activities, okay. you know, across the country, depending on where they are located. Mm. And it's not just about tomorrow. It's It runs across, I think, about two weeks or the entire month, mm. right? Um, for, I think, Basic Needs is doing a, having a panel yes, discussion uh, tomorrow. Okay. There is a panel discussion right. at Lisa Hotel at 3 p.m. Okay. And Dr. Uh, uh, one of our famous uh, 
psychiatrists okay. will be there. Okay. To, and the team is suicide prevention, a call for national action. Okay. So that's the alliance's the theme. Okay. Then tomorrow will be the, the DD, and there will be a lot of radio discussions mm. all over. And we are the alliance with Basic Nations also organizing a lot of regional programs because we have regional uh, branches. Okay. So in the northern there will be root matches and other educational and awareness mm -hmm. programs. Then 13th, being Sunday, there will be What Do You Know okay. on GTV, mm -hmm. which is 12 noon. Okay. And we expect everybody to be part of it. Okay. Especially tomorrow's program, the panel discussion at Aliza. Is that where you'll be engaging young tertiary students? Yes. Okay. There, there will be oh, a lot of. Okay. <laughs> that's okay. different. That's different. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that that's would different. be um, on the 16th, organized by um, Human Rights Organization, um, Human Rights Advocacy Center, that's my organization, together with Mind Freedom Ghana. Okay. And uh, we are engaging tertiary students uh, because like we said, it's suicide really affects the youth and so we want to raise that awareness amongst them we know the incidents that have happened in the tertiary institutions mm -hmm. and also related to education mm. um, so we want to raise the awareness educate them on the risk factors and then the preventive measures that they can take and then create a platform okay. for them to be able to express themselves and then you know interact with the, um, the specialists on the on the panel all right so speak up and seek help and that is what uh, star coalition is that's the agenda that they are pushing in celebration of of World Mental Health Day, which is tomorrow. And so in the studios, I've been speaking to Kinsley Ofosu Ama. Uh, he's a director of rights and rehabilitation Ghana and also represents Basic Needs and Mental Health Alliance of Ghana. And Cynthia Nimo Amperdu, Executive Director, Human Rights Advocacy Center. Final words before we go. Any advice uh, to people you want to say thank you? Go ahead and please do so. Yes, what I will say is that suicide is not the only option to end your problems, mm. but there's still hope. From the biblical point of view, a lot of people committed suicide, like uh, uh, Judas, Aristophel, and so on, mm. because they, have, uh, they felt guilty. And uh, Aristophel also thought his uh, advice was not taken. So uh, all this while, people feel bad when their actions are recognition they don't get recognition and people have uh, feel guilty okay. within themselves they these things uh, we should all come together and uh, at least report to a medical officer mm. right. or a social worker all right yes. thank you so much for thank joining you. me on air and yes uh, i hope you've gotten all the information that you need